Guys, we just found another hidden gems. Tonight we are staying at the foot of the hill of Mount Lot. It starts in the front of the house with this beautiful classic Chevy and of course a beautiful Defender. Hopefully if I'm nice, maybe they'll, they'll let me drive the, the Land Rover. Never know. Welcome to my Lima house. So I'm gonna try and get this done before the rain hits because it might be loud. But you come in and you have a massive kitchen. So we are actually gonna come here with some friends. Last minute, couldn't come. So we have this huge place all to ourselves. Full kitchen gas stove. Um, they do run mainly off of solar and they do have a backup generator. However, their goal is to only use solar in this area. So we have the fridge. Oh, backup, sorry. Hopefully I'm not making you dizzy. Um, this is a really cool bar area and the window is open up so that you have four chairs on the other side as well to make a table, which I think is a super cool concept. So over here into the living room, You've got a fireplace, which I think we're gonna need tonight because I'm already in a long sleeve. I did have a tank top on, but I was freezing. Um, so we're probably gonna put that to good use. And now let's go see outside. Now this is where things start to get a little bit interesting. So first of all, love that you have this tree in the middle. And yes, it was placed here, but it was dead beforehand. So it wasn't uprooted. Um, your outside kitchen, lovely table. We should actually think about getting one of these for our house. That'd be cool. Um, but look at this. This is the barbecue. And they just took the motor out because that's all they needed and they made a barbecue out of it. Super, super cool. So then you have another seating area there. Normal seating area, outside lights, which we're gonna try not to use that much solar. Hammock here, enough for two people, which is a huge hammock. Another seating area here. And tonight we're probably gonna get some of the, what are they called? Jekylls? Jekylls, yeah. I think Jico. that's Jikos, yeah. A couple of those, so if we wanna sit outside, we can put these around as well. A really cool uh, chair too. It's like, not quite the egg one, but close. Um, so I think we're gonna show you the bedrooms upstairs first, and then we'll go explore around a little bit. So we're gonna go upstairs and see the bedrooms up there. Okay, so there's a really cool feature up here, and you can kind of see it, but we'll show it better in the other room. But when you come up here, one of the bedrooms here has two twin beds. Now let's go to the other one. This is the one that we're gonna stay in. We think it's pretty cool. So, first of all, it's massive. Second of all though, look at the tent. So it's actually closed by tent flaps all around. So we're gonna be able to enjoy the nice air, fresh air tonight. And you can open it up and actually go outside. There's like a little, what's the word I'm looking for? A little deck out there. <laughs> There's actually one more bedroom on this property that you haven't seen yet, and it's a fully detached, almost like an in-law suite, if that makes sense. So let's come see this one. So inside this one, they even have it set up so that if you don't want to go into the main house for your coffee, you can make your coffee right there. <laughs> but yeah, so we have a, I believe it's a king-size bed here. It does have a mosquito net there. And then a bathroom attached directly to it, and this is the only one that has the own ensuite with it. A shower, sink, all that good stuff. But this, if the weather is nice, there is an outside bathtub. So remember when I said the big bedroom upstairs with the tent? That's actually where it is, right over top of the outside there. So we're coming into the pool area. Yes, there is a pool. But also something I want to mention and you have to keep in mind, is this area actually has wildlife among it. So like zebras, watch out for the buffaloes, and even some hyenas come through. So you always kind of have to look around 
where you are <laughs> and at nighttime try not to walk at night if you are be smart very smart anyways so this is the pool oh i like the entrance sorry it's the first time over by the pool area it has like a gradual in and then you, over there you have your little area of seating i want to say we're gonna try it out but it's also a little chilly i have a feeling my husband is gonna end up in there at some point i probably will Looks very nice though. So there is actually one more unique feature on this property, which is separate and it's really cool. So we had to take advantage of it, but that'll be tomorrow night. So stay posted for tomorrow night. And it involves a bus, a big one. Hi, hi. And this place comes with three beautiful and very friendly dogs. Okay, so actually while you're here, they even give you contacts for a taxi driver and a boda boda driver. We're gonna try and get Mateo's pizza. But we want to see if the Boda Boda driver's free first. Available. Apparently, Mateo's Pizza is like, Mwah. We don't normally use Boda I'll Bodas. be the judge of that. So what better goes with pizza than some red wine? So we're going to grab a couple glasses. I like that they actually have like big red wine glasses too. And let's open the bottle. I'm going to be the one opening the wine bottle because Trace is a little bit challenged uh, with regards to opening wine bottles. So. Just like that. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice. Pizzas are here. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. So we just got our pizza from Mateo. I got a calzone, which looks really good. It, does it look looks really good. full of good stuff. Tracy got like just a normal like, Diabola, a, like pepperoni. Yeah. Should I show them? It looks really good. <clears throat> oh, okay, I see how it is. Pretty good. As we eat our pizza and enjoy our wine, we're gonna actually watch Top Gun. Tracy never saw Top Gun and I really wanna go see Top Gun, the new one, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. so, so we're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. It's our date night. Mm -hmm. So what it looks like. Girl, I know what's bothering me. So Mateo's pizza, very good. You know what, the last time we were here at an Airbnb, we drove by it and I was like, yeah. oh, I wonder about that place. So I'm glad we finally tried yeah. it. So that was good. Yeah. Highly suggested. Um, otherwise, Top Gun was great. Yeah. We had a nice relaxing evening for once, yeah. which was great. And then, you know, because we are in an Airbnb, like we don't like just showing you the Airbnb. So tomorrow we actually have yeah. a lot of cool stuff planned and looking forward to it. That's good. Yeah. This bed is actually really comfy yeah, too. Yeah, it's very comfy. I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Okay, game plan. We are really <laughs> strong coffee. I made it a little too strong. <laughs> <laughs> We're literally beside Hell's Gate and we've never ever been to Hell's Gate even though we've been in Canada for two years. So what are we doing? I don't know. So we're gonna go there today. Hopefully we're gonna be able to probably do a hike and also go to the geothermal spa. pool spa thing. Cause yes. that looks something we didn't do. We've so, been told to do that like a long time ago. Yeah. It's just, yeah. So breakfast first and then adventures. <laughs> so we're full of eggs and bacon. We got our boots on. We got everything we need in the backpack. Let's go to Hell's Gate. So as we were driving, I looked over and you can see uh, like three major things of steam. And that's actually where the geothermal spot is. So, I mean, I'm going off what people told me. Hopefully my information is correct. We'll find out shortly. <laughs> This is Simon, he's a Maasai, he's gonna be our guide today. He's gonna to guide us around Hell's Gate. Very excited so far. It is beautiful. Yes, it is. Probably one of my favorite looking national park in Kenya so far. Yeah, exactly. And I've been to almost yes. all of them. Yeah. This is the most uh, beautiful national park. Yeah. This is the best hiking for today. <laughs> I think guys, you're enjoying for this. Yeah. yeah. We've been in for 10 minutes and it's already good. So.
So behind me down there are the famous gorge of Hellgate and sadly in 2019 six tourists and one guy actually lost their life uh, after a flash flood. This can become literally a river in the matter of minutes. Since then it got closed for, for everyone basically but they're doing some sort of renovation and they should be able to open the section back up in the next few months and it's going to be amazing because walking down there must be quite an experience. Simon, our guide, has been doing this for over 11 years and he told me that he's been doing those hikes f up to five times a day. So he is fast, like, like super fast. Yeah. I don't think it can do without <laughs> holding. <laughs> Simon's making fun of me because he went up without using his hands. I'm not that adventurous. Simon, do you ever uh, have tours that are asking you to slow down? Mm, yeah. <laughs> not too far. Yeah. See? Yeah. Just like Simon. So we came to this little area and the running water is cool. Like it's a nice temperature. But then as soon as you dig, the water is so hot. So it's a water that's just staying there and it takes 15 minutes to boil an egg off of this water right here. Not that one, this one. So just for the record, this is not the part of the gorge that are closed. At least, you know, I fully trust my guide. I asked him twice. He told me, no, don't worry about it. It's like film it, totally illegal. So just, I just want to put this on the table. I don't know if you can see, but right there up top, there's like a rock shaped like a, the head of a elephant. Pretty cool. Tracy and I are gonna take the long way around. We're, we're not jumping that. Okay, let's face it, that was quite a climb. Um, there's actually like little holes in the rock where you can kinda actually still help yourself, but like, I'm not gonna lie, like it's a little sketchy. So you need a certain level of fitness, let's say, to do this hike here. And just like that, we are back to, to the top. Thanks to Simon, did a great job. And we're still alive, so I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> This woman is a hard bargain. <laughs> I've been wanting bowls like these for a while. So I finally got them. Got a good deal. They're great. So Simon is gonna take us on a little game drive around Hell's Gate. And what you can see like on those cliffs there, the white part is actually vulture poop. Fun fact. <laughs> You can actually climb all the way to the top of that rock. They have like ropes and everything, like they're fully set for like some rock climbing, but we'll, we're gonna come back for that. So we just dropped off Simon, he was great. Um, and now we're gonna go into the spa for a little bit. I don't really know what to expect, to be completely honest. <laughs> So we're all changed up, ready to go for the hot springs. This is like a very commercial hot spring. I know that when you think hot spring, you think of like you know, a little formation. hole in the ground, a little rock formation where the water is just heated by Mother Earth. But it's, it's kind of like that, but in a commercial kind of looking pool. But the mm -hmm. water in it, it's still like, you know, from the source, like from like, like three kilometer down in, uh, yeah. in Earth. 
Um, so yeah, and the, the smell, it, it smells like sulfur, so... I'm curious how warm it's gonna be. We'll see, but it does smell like fun. Mm -hmm. Let's test it. I don't know. It's warm. I expected it to be a little bit warmer. Oh yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, like this is like, you know, I feel like I'm in a bath, but it's like, even like the water we, we touched earlier, like from the, the little falls, that was like a little warmer than this. But to be honest, like this is perfect temperature. It's actually like for a pool, I would say it's a little too warm. It's so weird. Like it's like you're in a lake besides the fact that like it's really warm. You go through like hot and cold pockets. Like now I have like really cold on my feet. Not really cold, but and now I'm in like super, super hot. It's so weird. Okay, so that's enough of farty water for today. <laughs> we're gonna get out, take a shower, and hopefully we're not gonna smell like fart. Let the chili when you get out. Apparently the water is very cold. This is not hot spring water. Well, you gotta pick. Do you wanna be uh, stinky and slimy or just cold? Dude, I don't know at this point. <laughs> It's really not that bad. Maybe we had different water. Nah. Hey, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. Pleasure. Pleasure. Hot springs? Pretty good. I mean, yeah. it would be much more enjoyable if, like, on a cooler day, because it's a little yeah. warm today. Because we're Norse. We're Norse. We're used <laughs> to seeing them in, like, Iceland and things like that. So yeah. it's very different to see it in a hot country. Yeah. But, like, yeah. in the middle of the Kenyan winter, I mean, that, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, would recommend. But it smells like fart. Just be prepared. Just, just be prepared. And uh, just just take a second to appreciate Tracy's look. This, this is what happens when I don't... I just don't care right now. <laughs> this is what the, the summer 2022 collection looks like. Have bikini towel. Fun, fun. It's beautiful. <laughs> look at this. Even have a slit with the towel. Hiking boots and socks. Damn. <laughs> yeah, just, just let it happen. To be honest, I'm not much better. Like, sure, my bathing suit, but I still have like those... Uh, high socks and hiking boots just too lazy to change just saw people stopped on the side of the road with their phones out then we didn't realize but there were like two giraffes like literally on the side of the road like by before i got the camera out they were even much closer i'm pretty sure they crossed the road like they were that close ah uh, kenya magical hi hi hello 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 hi are we friends Oh, we're friends. <laughs> Is it me or this one really looks like a unicorn? Just imagine with, with a horn. It looks like a unicorn. <laughs> okay, so Hell's Gate. I, I am a big fan. Don't get me wrong, not for game drives. I mean, we it's did a small game drive and different. we saw almost nothing. I feel like it's in its own category, to yeah. be completely honest. Um, it's great for adventure. Yeah, like in I terms of like say. scenery, it is outstanding it is the most is beautiful, beautiful um national park here in kenya like yeah. I, I would say um otherwise like i mean we're, we're gonna go back because we didn't do like the climbing and there's other things you can do there you can even yeah. do camping so we're gonna do that for sure because that place again and biking i would like to amazing. bike in it yeah yeah so i would recommend it go check it out from what i hear it's not the way it used to be and the beginning is very Commer like powery yeah industrial <laughs> yes. looking so yeah, when yeah. you first go into uh hell's gate yeah you know just just drive a little bit further because yeah. at first the only thing you see is the power plant because they're actually ge uh, using that geothermal energy to yeah. produce a lot of power actually which is very good yeah. um but it's just like a lot of industrial looking building a lot of like steam pipes and stuff it is yeah. not very pretty once you get past that and into like the things that can offer it's yeah. pretty great uh hell's gate like for sure especially for hiking that hike was just now let's stunning. Go rinse sulfur off of us. Yes, we smell funny. Mm -hmm. So we actually have one more night here on this property, but in a very, very different accommodation with, with our with our dog friend yeah. here. So um, we don't want our videos to be like 30 minutes because I know that you guys don't have that, that much time to just watch us do things. So I yeah. guess we're gonna see you guys back on Wednesday. In, in the, the next, next one. one. <laughs>